Hi, this is John from Fusion 3D Models. We all know of the capabilities of 3D print, how you can make single assemblies moving like so, like the crescent wrench, um, hands, anatomy, things like that. However, 3D print does have its limitations, especially on thin walled sections. I'll uh, show such an example here. Today I'm going to use a spoon. Simple spoon as an example. Doesn't get much more complicated than that. Problem is, is that the thin section, as you see, is very difficult to hold up. Um, there is ways around this. We can cradle that with a secondary part and then post-process it and come up with something that's reasonably strong. It would be strong enough to handle, but not, not terribly uh, rigid and certainly not won't hold up to excessive handling. Here's an example. This is a spoon that I had printed with no support. As you can see it promptly broke. It uh, didn't last long at all. I took it out of the machine and immediately broke. This is a duplication here. The, the uh, solution to this is obviously metal. The way we accomplish that is we can 3D print molds print as so. This is the upper and l lower portion uh, lower upper portion of, a sp of the same spoon and what we've done this side has a recess it's only 40,000 steep it's the thickness of the 3D print you see here. What we do is we clamp this together use a series of clamps along the edge through the hole in the end we can actually pour molten metal directly into it. Yes, this 3D print can handle several hundred degrees of temperature, so it is no problem whatsoever to pour low alloy, um, low melting alloys. I have heard of situations all the way up to aluminum, um, which you have to take care in doing, but for low melt point alloys such as these tin based metals works out just fine and as you can see this is plenty strong it can handle quite a bit of uh, of punishment and this could be polished um, I didn't bring a sample down with me but this could be polished up to a fine shine painted uh, filed um, you can do just about anything that you would do with standard steel with it only it's obviously it doesn't have the strength to to withstand uh, like a high grade steel would but it's certainly good enough for prototyping purposes. This is one I just pulled out. Uh, I just got through pouring this and uh, pull it out of the mold right now. Here's a spoon that's I've just done. Let's go ahead and pop it out of the mold. As so, and voila a metal spoon. The advantage to this over sand casting and other types of casting is obviously you can create as many molds as you want. These molds are relatively cheap um, compared to other types of casting and you can pour one after the other after the other. You basically just pour them at the right metal temperature, um, separate the molds, remove the part and then pour the next one and you can create quite a lot of parts in this fashion relatively inexpensively compared to other methods and uh, the the main reason I showed a spoon is just to get that long distance of pour to show it's capable without pits, holes, things like that.